Hi, I'm Nathaniel Hoover, and this is a bonus video to accompany my run of Mega Man 5. This will showcase some of the fanciest glitches, some of the neatest tricks, and a lot of other fun stuff I didn't get to show you before. Before we begin, let me satisfy my curiosity on something. Yep, it's a pit. By now, the secret is out that you can use an M-Tank when you're at full energy on everything to turn all of the enemies into one-ups. But, uh, I didn't get a chance to show you in such a good location. Haha! <laughs> uh, 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 eh. If you're ever replaying a stage and run out of bird power, just grab one of the letters and, uh, you're fully charged again. It's your reward for being champion of the spelling bee. To... Yeah, that was pretty bad. Like this! Beat! Sick him, boy! Attack, bird! Go get him! Fine, I will make you go get him! Uh, and make myself get hurt. Some friend you are! At least I can trust that Rush is never gonna put me in ha- In ha- In- In harm's- In harm's- We get out of my way! The Amanos don't want to play with me, so I'll play with Super Arrow! Indeed, Super Arrow is glitchy, and it can totally weirdify your attempts to slide. I love it how I keep getting caught in the appearing blocks here and then shunted back out. Dude, it's totally glitching! Mega Man finally discovers that he lives in a three-dimensional world and can shoot around enemies. 2D schmoody. Oh, Rudy? Actually, close proximity may allow you to shoot straight through an enemy, and in certain cases, timing will allow you to not shoot through an enemy. Oops. I've seen Super Arrow bounce off of enemies and stick to walls, but how did it do that? So there must have been a teensy gap between the enemy and the floor, but here there must be a teensy gap in the logic. Huh? Why are you bouncing? Okay, so the ladder was suddenly solid, just like this is not solid? Solid? He's solid. He's solid. He's not solid. He's confusing! Water is confusing when it's upside down? Gravity is confusing! Physics are weird. At least Beat still makes sense. He Beat, straighten up and fly upright. This next segment is all about pointless fun with Turbo Fire, but let me pause. Do -do -do -do. Notice how Dr. Wily is sitting in the cockpit there as he fades in, but as soon as the fade-in is complete, the dome is covered. Ah, oh, they thought I wouldn't notice, but I did. All right, so I promised you Turbo Fire. So, Star Crash, interestingly enough, bounces off in different directions when you fire it. Crystallized kind of fun. There's no point to any of this, I just enjoy looking at how these turbo-fired weapons react off the back of the giant machine. And Beat, well, Beat just disappears. Come back! Okay, so he chooses not to attack. Now he attacks. Nope, don't attack. Okay, go for it. With Napalm, or Napalm if you prefer, some bombs go farther than others. I like that sound. I like that sound, too. I like that sound, too. Okay, let's see if we can get out front again without getting hurt. Mm. Oh, silly me. I should have remembered. Mega Man can't pass through solid object. Okay, he can. For such a short stage, there's a lot of glitchy fun you can have, like not rising completely to the top and not being able to go through the shutter. Oh, well. And additionally, the air up here feels a little more solid. It's sort of pushing me back as I'm jumping up in it. Strange. In general, areas with moving stage components offer a lot of potential for silly, glitchy, and tricky fun. Like this, for example. I wasn't expecting to find anything particularly interesting, but, uh, well, this is a little odd. But fun. Fun and odd. Fod. And this is nice, too. Oh, yeah! Running in place as you scroll up. And getting stuck in place. Oh, look at that. Kind of a stationary little dance move in the corner, you know, kicking up dust with his feet. This is clearly more entertaining for me than it is for you. This is what happens when you try and turbo slide in certain corners of the game. You kind of get stuck there, but not not really. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. On the subject of getting stuck, hmm, gives new meaning to the word wall ball. Or possibly that's two words. I hope Mega Man never gets st stuck like that, but... Oh my goodness, what? That is not the ladder! Fine, fine, Mega Man is now clip art! Let's paste him anywhere! <coughs> this seems like a fairly logical segue. More Rush Jet. Notice how Rush is visible, but Mega Man isn't, and watch the energy. Hmm. And that's all I have to say to you is, hmm. Hmm, and hmm. Mostly hmm. 
And, okay, here's a hmm and a hmm moment. Solid wall. Random solid wall. And, yeah, definitely a solid wall here. What is going on? Why is this here? Well, perhaps it's to prevent me from doing what I'm about to do here. See, if you can fly over top, you might miss the jet ski, and then you'd fall in the water and drown. Fall in the water and drown. That doesn't look like drowning. In fact, that looks very silly to me. Wow, so that's what happens if you manage to somehow jump over the jet ski. You're not supposed to be able to do that. This is exciting. Let's see if we can bypass the entire backwards jumping dolphins this way. The entire level. Let's see if we can bypass the entire level this way. Um, I love these dolphins. This is just making my day. Okay, we're gonna come up on the mini boss. And can we fight him? Tell me yes? No. And he's shooting backwards because we're way far ahead of him by now. Hmm. Let's turn off Mega Man's automatic marathon mode and jump at precisely the right moment and scroll to the next screen while he's still in the air before he touches down. If you can do that, all of a sudden you have full control and can switch weapons. Well, it's like there's a conveyor belt on top of that super arrow. Yeah, the weapons start behaving a little bit strangely, and the enemies are completely unaffected by everything here, but it's still fun to try out. I'm going to just cut to a bunch of different clips of me trying out very slow-moving weapons, and very fast-moving weapons, and very not moving weapons. There's a lot of fun that you can have here, so if you can pull off this trick, and it's incredibly difficult, I do encourage you to try it. Ah, but now I can charge up my blaster. This is going to be awesome. This fight's going to go so quickly. Oh, oh, ah. Okay, okay, there's nothing to see here. Yeah, I didn't miss anything from that fight anyhow. Ooh, stationary water pistons. That's interesting to look at. Er, well, I'm just going to continue to goof around for a little while, and while I'm doing so, let me just say that no matter how many glitches I may show you, whether they're ones that I found out on my own or ones that I picked up from other people, there can never be enough glitch videos to show you everything that could possibly happen in a Mega Man game. At least, I'm pretty sure that's not possible. You see, even after releasing my glitch videos for Mega Man 1 through 4, I still found new things to do, crazy things that can happen. And there's probably far more that I've never even considered. Come on, B, pick up the pace here. Poor bird. <laughs> can't keep up with me. A word of warning about this little trick. If you get too close to the edge of the screen, be careful, because if you go all the way off, you, well, you kind of fall off the world. Or do you? Looks like Mega Man still is technically there. Oh, good, he came back. Well, that doesn't always happen. Let's see an alternate ending, as it were. Yes, you can go off the screen, and it still registers that you're there. You're sort of intangible and invisible, but you're still moving around the screen, able to fire things every which way. But in this case, Mega Man's not coming back. He's still not there, but you can carry on with the level as though you are there. Useless turret! What am I paying you for? And you can't actually fight the boss, you get stuck in this room. Alright, that's enough Wave Man for one day. Let's go to Gravity Man stage. You know what happens when you play with a toy excessively and don't give it a rest every once in a while? You break your toy. You break your toy, and you break your you. As it turns out, you can defeat the missiles. Whoa, rapid fire super arrow seems to do the trick. Not that it's terribly helpful. I mean, another missile comes back to replace the one that just got blown up. But it's still satisfying to do so. Beat can help you out in that endeavor as well, but if you wear them down a bit first and then switch weapons, you can launch them into space! Yay! Did you know that Mega Man has the power to fascinate large cats and command them to do his bidding? Jump, jump. I'm just kidding, if you press the B button, they'll leave at you. Beat's navigational systems must be going wonky after all this gravity switching. See? That's why you don't flip the bird. Well, it's about time to wrap up this video, and what better way than to beat the final boss? Ooh, wait a second, oh, I just found out your secret. Wily's still in the cockpit, you thought I wouldn't notice. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, don't act so surprised. Our final glitch is one I'm not sure I can duplicate. Um, I can scroll the screen left and right, but Mega Man does not exist. He has ceased to be. Dr. Wily wins! Oh well. <laughs>